Welcome to 22 Miles Publisher Pro with a demonstration of our Way Touch Premiere. That is our Wayfinding Player module. That is the solution that allows you to pretty much take any touchscreen and add our internal wayfinding capabilities for user editing. I'll show you guys some finished product examples and kind of go into further editing capabilities of, of how simple and dynamic uh, the system works for a novice user to a graphic designer. Uh, right now, I'm just quickly doing a quick download from the cloud. Um, if I've already done the download, I can skip it because it will be cached local. We also have on-premise server capabilities. Um, you can see here, this is the hospital. They wanted to do a little more of a, what's called a concierge of their interactive solutions. So just not, just not only focused on mapping, but providing some additional features. Um, it's all multi-touch, vector-based. I can touch and move it around with my fingers. Um, I could look by directories. Uh, let's look where cafeteria is. I can do a pop-up. And we have the smart pathway algorithm figures out how to get from point A to point B in the quickest pathways. I can look by maybe patient rooms. Let's look for 1035 pop-ups, and again, it's going to take me to the closest elevator, the fastest elevator to that 1035 location by itself using our node system, which I'll show you on the map builder. It's going to do a, an animation for elevators and multi-level, and it's also going to zoom in by itself and take me through the route to that 1035. I can look by different floors, look at the campus even, and I can incorporate About Us, which could be any URL or HTML. Um, so they added some of their own website information. Usually just takes a second for it to load depending on my bandwidth. Um, they added points of interest which is Google Maps, which is natively supported into the system. Uh, they added some points of interest around the hospital. Um, social media, which again would be just like Facebook or anything like that. They also incorporated on-site medical services. So they actually have two different Google Maps incorporated into this, what we call the interactive concierge wayfinding solution. Some dining menu information, uh, lunch, others. Um, and then also a bus schedule, which is just their website, and takes me back home, press reset, and I'm back to the home page. Another cool example would be our Providence Memorial Hospital. They incorporated the capability to move things around, pinch and zoom. You can see it's a little two and a half dimensional on this, and different floors. I can also do multi-language, and maybe I want to look for Wound Care Institute. This is one of my favorite cool designs where we actually incorporate Google Earth as a routing option. And you can actually route multi-buildings, and it'll actually go into that other building and shows you the step-by-step -step directions. And again, you can do a QR code. And you can also print, and it shows you the writing and the images. Find a room, on-screen keyboard, close, all of that's built into the system. Very cool application, very wayfinding centric. Uh, so that's a two and a half dimensional. Let's look at something that's two dimensional. This was actually given to us by the client. So we did not create or redesign the map. All we did was add the endpoints to it. Uh, that's all they needed. Uh, again, it's just vector-based. Uh, I can look by different floors. Um, I could look by directory. Let's look for, let's say, endoscopy. You can see here I have the printing and QR codes um, and the step-by-step. -step. Again, the elevator animation. Um, I can get an on-screen keyboard this way. I can also do kind of like a dial pad animation. So if I look for 505, press Suite, it'll show me how to get there. They also incorporated different pop-ups 
That made me want to get to Joe's Java. I can map that, and it'll show me how to get to Joe's Java. Um, outpatient services, same thing as the last examples, about us, and different services, all incorporated into the system. Um, from there, let's go into Penn State. And you can have anything you want in any orientation, so vertical or horizontal. Uh, they added their website. They had an RSS feed on the bottom. Uh, they incorporated a CSV file and an XML file into the solution. So we can work with any data source integrations, and you can pick and choose the field values. Press map it. And what they did is they actually wanted to have all the floors together, so they didn't want the... Uh, multi-level animation, they wanted the multi-levels combined. Uh, so they can pick and choose however they want. Again, you can move it around. I can pinch and zoom. And it can be vector-based after a certain point. Um, On-screen keyboard. I can also look for campus building, which is really cool. Uh, this was just a PDF that they gave us. But what we did is we mapped out every single building on here. So if I wanted to find the arena or their center, get directions, from where that screen is located, our smart pathway algorithm automatically figures A to B, including outside locations. We can, as you saw, can also incorporate the Google Earth, and it can utilize both types of mapping. Shows me how to get there, and there we go. Press home, and I'm back to the home screen. From that one, show you one we just did for an airport. And this is a pretty cool design. It was designed by one of our partners. Spanish, English search on screen keyboard again you can see it's a different alpha keyboard let's look for new york sports bar you can get a pop-up locate on the map and you can see this map is completely different they have a little pop-up with text information touch four and again the mapping looks completely different from the other ones i just showed you got the directions written out in text and you can send that to a mobile phone I can look by, let's say, Gate Finder, and they actually incorporated uh, Boarding Pass Scanner so people can find their gates using the scan code. Um, they added some promotions for different shopping centers, shopping, dining, and where the restrooms are, which is the number one thing searched for. And then they also incorporated Admirals Club. Um, Let's show you one of our favorite designs, and I'll show you how you can edit that design. So this is uh, a hospital that we just incorporated our 3D technology into the Waytouch Premier. Uh, this had a 3D campus that we designed for them, and every one of the floors was also designed in a 3D. And it actually starts off in two-dimensional. I'll show you that in the map builder and how the editing works of the wayfinding. So you can edit all of your layout as much as you can edit all of your routing as well. And that's something very specific and unique to the 22 miles application. I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to rotate it 360 degrees. I'm going to pinch and zoom. And I can actually even pretend I'm moving and walking in the hallway. A little rat maze. Um, I can look by building. And there's your 3D. Again, 360, zoom in, I'm going to click 7, um, you get a pop-up that actually provides you, as you saw, different dynamic information. In this case, it's a 360 panorama, full screen, I can actually get that panorama, press get directions from where that screen is. Even the arrows can be set to be multi-level or straight line. All of that's built into the settings platform of the system in the map builder. 
press go back. I can look by departments, maybe do dental. Uh, they did a flyover versus an eagle eye view. So you can see this actually instead of the elevator, and it does it shows you both floors together. Uh, so you have all of that option. They also incorporated PDFs. So you're not recreating any of your marketing information. You can drag and drop any type of medium into your solution. They also add a little wheelchair adjustable so it can adjust the information on the screen. And press reset. Gets me back to the system.